Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Sharon, and I have a huge burden today that I need your assistance in prayer with. I have a list here, and most of them are family members. Some are family members of other people. Some are members of this church, of the House of Prayer. But we were all children of God. And so I'm asking you to pray with me. Father God, we come in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Because you said, come to me in his name. And you would give it to us. We give you praises of thanksgiving this afternoon, Lord. We come to you with repentant hearts. Lord, we ask that you put a hedge of protection around us, Lord, and cover us in the precious name of Jesus to make us clean before you, Father. The enemy has surely been attacking our family members, and we are here to pray for them. We pray for Claire Bear today, Lord. She has been feeling weak and has migraines. She is battling to keep her job without taking what is demanded of her. Lord Claire needs your intervention on this matter. We praise you for going ahead of her and all of us to take care of this battle. Claire is not the only one fighting against this mandate. There are millions more who are going through the same thing. Our sister Wendy is doing the same thing and is about to cave in under the pressure of it. Please show her the right way to go. She's a child of the Most High God, so lead her in the right direction. I'm asking for Sister Robin, that is one of your most precious children, and she is battling muscular dystrophy, lupus, epilepsy, legally blind in both eyes, fibromyalgia, depression, osteomalacia, and lupus fog. She is lying down and trying to exist. Her depression meds were changed and she could move around a little bit better. We praise you for that, Lord. We know a man that is on hospice care who doesn't know you, Lord. And I've reached out to go and pray for him and lead him to you, Jesus, but without any comment back about going. I don't know what else to do but continue to pray and that you would convince them to let me come. And pray for him. If not, lead somebody else to him. Lord, because being on hospice care at home is not a good sign. We dread the fact that he doesn't know you as his savior. Neither does he know Jesus. And so we know what the end result will be. So we're asking for your intervention, Lord. Thank you. We're asking that you allow someone to get to him. Robin's brother-in-law, Randy, has fallen and broken his neck and will be off work for a long time. Robin has another cousin whose name is um, Cody. And he has been battling cancer for five or six years. Marin is another cousin who was battling CHF and has flatlined twice. His wife, Sherry Wilkinson, has pulmonary hypertension, fibrosis, and scoliodema. These are all your children father. They're all Christians. 
I make an arrangement to go see my uncle, like you told me to the other day. Harold has agreed to take me, so I pray that you open the doors for me to go at just the right time. While talking about my husband Harold, father, you know he didn't get a good report from the doctor this morning. But the great news is he has agreed to finally allow me to pray over him. Thank you, Father, for that. I know you have been working on his heart to be softened. He's starting to see without the blinders on. And I know that you have been working on that. I lost a cousin this week from heart problems. I pray for her parents who have now lost two children. It is so hard to lose your children and watch them die. I can't imagine what you went through watching Jesus being tortured and put to death on the cross from the evilness of this world. But we know that he had to do it to save the rest of our lives. A man who had no sin had to go through all that. So Lord, by Jesus' stripes, we are healed. So with that said, we are asking that you heal all the conditions of the people listed in this prayer. Even right now, give each of them comfort and their families comfort for what they are going through. We feel so helpless watching our families going through these awful illnesses. But we decree and declare right this minute, Lord, that Satan is hereby stopped from giving these illnesses to our loved ones. Touch each of them in a mighty way in the name of Jesus, whom we love with all of our hearts, mind, and soul. We give you praises of thanksgiving for answering our prayer. Our Father in heaven, you are so wonderful to us. Lord, we know that we are battling the prince of darkness and you were battling him in the heavenlies and we know without a doubt that you are victorious you have and will always be the winner against the evilness of him the father of lies and deception these illnesses are nothing but lies inflicted upon humanity He's trying to steal your children away. And if it is your will, Father, touch each life and take away their pain. For the ones not saved by grace, lead someone to them to help lead them to Jesus. Satan has put his evil hands on us enough. And we decree and declare that the reign of terror and illnesses be stopped this day. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, Father, we give you praises of thanksgiving. And when two or more are gathered in one place, there you will be also. We might not be in the same room, but we are in one accord praying to you. To take care of these family members. Thank you Jesus and Father. And we ask that the Holy Spirit. Surround these families. With his presence. And give them comfort. Oh what a testimony that will be. For the kingdom of heaven. Praise you. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And amen.